This is part 6 of Bootstrap tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss nested rows and columns in Bootstrap. Bootstrap supports nested rows and columns. This means rows and columns can be placed inside an existing column. However, the fundamental principle is still the same. That is, the number of columns in the nested row should also add up to 12 or fewer. However, keep in mind, we don't have to always use the 12 available columns. Let's understand nested rows and columns with an example. Let's say we want to create a layout that looks like this. Within our layout, we just want a single row. And within that single row, we want two columns. This is our first column, and this is our second column. The second column is the main content area. Within our first column, we want two rows the first row for sidebar 1 and the second row for sidebar 2. Let's see how easy it is to achieve this by nesting rows and columns. Let's now look at the HTML required. So within our layout, we want a single row. So within our container here, we have a single row. And within that single row, we need two columns. So here's our first column. The first column is three logical units wide. And here is our second column, which is nine logical units wide. When we add those two numbers together, we get 12. Now, within our second column, we have you know a development here where we have set the class to main content. We have not created this class yet. We'll do that in just a bit. But this is the column for our main content. And this is the column for our sidebar. Remember, within our sidebar, we want two rows. So here, we are nesting two rows inside this column. And within our first row, we have another column. And remember, the fundamental principle is still the same. The number of columns in the nested row should also add up to 12 or fewer. Here, we are using all the 12 available columns. And this is the column for our sidebar 1. And here is our second nested row. And again, within this nested row, we have another column, which is 12 logical units wide. And this is the column for sidebar 2. I have the same exact HTML already typed within index.html. So if we view this page in the browser, this is how it looks like. That's basically because we have not created these two style classes yet, sidebar content and main content. Let's do that now. Let's flip to Visual Studio. And within our custom styles.css, I'm going to change margin bottom to 10 pixels. And I'm going to change height to 150 pixels. And let's change the name of this class to sidebar content. And I'm going to make a copy of this. And let's change the name of the class to main content. And here we want the min height to be 300 pixels. Let's save the changes and reload this page. Notice now the styles are applied. But we have a small problem here, and that is the height of the main content area is not the same as our sidebar. That's basically because of the additional 10 pixels that we have for margin bottom. So let's increase the minimum height of the main content area by 10 more pixels. At this point, when we reload the page, the height of the main content area is the same as the height of our sidebar. Now, let's look at another example of where nested rows and columns could be really helpful. Let's say we want to create a three-column layout like this, and the column should be split in this fashion. The first column should be five logical units wide. That means we are only left with seven logical units. Now, we want to split those seven logical units into two equal halves, 3.5 and 3.5. This is going to be a challenge if we don't have the concept of nested rows and columns. Because with an odd number of available logical units, you can either split them into 1 and 6, or 2 and 5, 3 and 4, or you can have just one column with all the seven logical units wide. But if we want to split it to 3.5 and 3.5 into two equal halves, it's going to be a challenge. But with nested rows and columns, this is really easy to achieve. Let's now look at the HTML required. So we want a single row within our container. So there is our single row. 
And within that one row, we want two columns. The first column should be five logical units wide. There we have it. And the second column should be seven logical units wide. And here it is. And within our second column, notice we have got a single nested row. And inside that nested row, we've got two columns, each column six logical units wide. So we are getting 3.5 for the first column and 3.5 for the second column. I have this exact same HTML here within the notepad. So let's copy that and paste it within our index.html. And the name of the style class here is custom div. So what I'm going to do is remove this class from there and change the name of this class to custom div. Let's save our changes. And when we reload this page, Notice we have three columns. The first column is five logical units, and the rest two of the columns are 3.5 and 3.5. Thank you for listening, and have a great day.